Peace, peace, peace. Mind Ascension here. Peace to the young black gods of the earth. My 6 to 22 strand, 7 to 9 ether selenium base, you melanin gods of this planet. All right. Um, I'm sitting here with my brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm always open to doing quick builds, always open to exchanging information and energy. So anytime I have an opportunity, anytime any brother comes up to me, anytime anything is within my presence, within my energy, within my power. We gotta, we gotta start building. We gotta start building think tanks, and we gotta start expressing ourselves to each other, so we can start expanding beyond this human captivity and mindset that we placed in right now. So you know, as y'all already know, my ascension. I don't like to do organized shit. I know eventually it's gonna have to happen, but I like my stuff to be random, so I could tap into the subconscious and give y'all truth and the purity of it without it being pre you know uh predetermined based on my ego or based on what i feel should be said when things are random they come out more pure than when something is organized so i don't know brother whatever's on your mind we shoot it out we let it be known and we just expand from there brother yeah, yeah. well peace be on the y'all you know what i mean straight up uh no, I got much to say, man. You were just talking, shit, bro. Shit, don't, shit. don't get shy with the character. You were just talking. You was just, shit, what was we talking about? You was breaking down MK Ultra. You asked me about MK Ultra, mm. okay? And bottom line, I know, I know a lot of y'all are familiar with the term MK Ultra. It's a mind control aspect. We also got things called the Labyrinth Group. You see what I'm saying? Um, uh, what's what's it also called? Um, ah, oh, damn. <clears throat> Plum Island. Plum Island. That's in uh, Dulce, New Mexico. I mean, basically what we're what we talking about right now is different forms of what they like to refer to as conspiracy theory. What I was speaking with my brother is MK Ultra is very old. It's not something new. So when he brought it up to me, you know, I wanted to kind of remind him that this is something that they've been doing since the late 1800s. And I know it sounds crazy because when we think 1800s, we're thinking about wagons and horse carriages and shit. But at the end of the day, never forget that the technology you see now is literally at the minimum 25 to 50 years old at the minimum so your your newest iphone is literally 50 years old you see what i'm saying so realize that what we refer to as mental implants brain implants mk ultra all these different things these things are way older than we could even imagine so also understand that the different levels of mind control go into the brands and the symbols that you see and that you wear on a daily basis, which are nothing but different forms of sigils. Now, if you study sigils, sigils is nothing but a symbol that has been placed with the intentions of the one who created it. So, I mean, like, bro, can we, can we get a check from Ralph Lauren? Like, really, ha, ha, ha. how much Ralph Lauren polo have we consumed? How much are we going to support these motherfuckers? Without receiving no form of reciprocation is basically what I sound like my brother is saying, right? Can we get a check from Nike? Can we? And by the way, going back to what I just said, Nike is a Greek goddess. So every time you wear Nike, you're representing a Greek goddess on your body. And we already know the history of the Greeks. They were deep in the homosexuality. You see what I'm saying? So everything you wear as a symbolism of yourself upon your vessel that you call your body puts an incantation upon you, upon your energy, upon your spirit. This is why you will never see my ascension wearing nothing that don't represent him. And even if I can't wear nothing, it's tattooed on my body, the representation of who I am. So I will always be locked into my so-called culture. I'll always be locked into my divinity, no matter what. So, yeah, brother. Yeah, man. Another topic is, yo, we got to stop hating on each other, man. You mm. know what I mean? Self-hate, we just hate competition. Like, we just hate, man. Like, why we hate so much, bro? Well, you've it's been trained to hate. It's 2019. There's no reason why we all can't just get it together. Oh, don't get it twisted. There's a reason for everything. Mm. And that's why we have to stop saying cliche lines. There's no reason. No, there's a reason. But there's, a, there's a reason to kick an old lady down the fucking stairs. <laughs> you just not supposed to do the shit. <laughs> you see right, what I'm saying? Right, right. There's a reason to whoop a bitch ass. Mm. You just not supposed to do the shit. You see right, what I'm saying? So right. right now we're talking about you gotta have self-control, basically. Self-control, but also we're talking about the form of self-hate that's been indoctrinated into us as the original people of this planet. Because oh. remember, I can't control you unless I get myself to hate every part about you that makes you more divine than me. I gotta make you hate your nose, hate your lips, hate your nine eat the hair. I gotta, I gotta make you hate the fact that. Do you believe, brother, that if you study this, it's really self hate. It's insecurity. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just studied it a little bit. Uh huh. You know what I mean? When kids pick on each other, it's insecurity. 
Yeah. We use each uh-huh. other. We, we use each other. You're projecting like, the security insecurity on other person. We use each other as scapegoats. You get what I'm saying? You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Take take the light off myself and put it on somebody else. You're absolutely right. Nah, you're absolutely man. right. You know what I mean? We got to stop that. You know what I mean? It's, it's immature and you're just being insecure. Now, you know here's mean? the thing. Just saying stop something is not enough. And this is what I'm noticing, y'all, in this conscious community, what I like to call a conscious mess. We keep saying cliche lines. We keep saying cliche things. We keep saying, well, we need to stop this and we need to do this, but we are not giving the precise equation and the precise blueprint to either replace our condition or our behavior. So I can't just say stop thinking about that. I can't just say stop doing that. I have to replace that action. I have to replace that thought. Because once I replace that thought, I I eliminate the thought that replaced it. You see what I'm saying? Excuse me. I I eliminate the thought that I had to replace. It's no different than if I'm dwelling on something negative in my head. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm just using it as a general aspect. And then all of a sudden I say, yo, look at this nigga. And it's a big, fat, juicy booty, nigga. Mm-hmm. You staring at you. You almost forgot what the fuck he was dwelling on. Mm-hmm. Because you've been distracted by an image that is enticing to you as a man. Right. Now, I use that as a generalization. Ladies, if you're thinking about something, you're dwelling on something. I'm telling you, go look at some beautiful black little newborn babies. Your energy will change immediately. Yeah. Look at something that you love unconditionally and as soon as you have nobody on this planet that got a soul can walk around, see a child come up to them, smile in their face and not have no reaction. Mm. No human that got a soul cannot have no reaction to a baby smiling at them no matter what condition they're in at the time. Right. You see what I'm saying? Even animals, even the most predatory animal doesn't attack a child. Mm. There's so many cases that have been documented where wolves... Uh, uh, what's what's the what's one I just saw recently? I think it was a kangaroo or something. But anyway, where animals will see a baby that's left somewhere alone and pick the baby up and go protect it. Yeah. So if an animal could do that shit, you know your ass can do something to the point where you could distract yourself from your own personal detriment, your own personal negative energy, yeah. and change your energy with that symbolism or that distraction or that energy in itself, which might be another beam. You know another thing we we we. Us as people, we, we gossip too much. You okay. Know what I mean? We get caught up in, in this, this social media stuff and we gossip it like gossip, gossip, gossip. Like, really? Social ne- social media is for networking. That's mm-hmm. the best tool to network. It should be. But what we doing? Gossiping about BS. You know what I mean? It's, it's just crazy. You know well, I mean? let's break down gossip. What is gossip essentially? Gossip is expression. Gossip is a form of you releasing something that you're either suppressing or either you just want to express to let off of your mind or your chest. Let's also break it down further. Gossip is related to the feminine. Because if you notice, right. women need to gossip. Yeah. Let's also break it not down. Not all even, of them. Not all of them. Not we all know, of them. Know. But we could say, well, no, no, no. all of this, not all stuff. Let me just, let me, since, he, since the brother just said that, let me address this. I don't give a fuck when people say not all. You know why? Because there's an exception to everything in existence. Right. I can tell you right now, there's an elephant walking a tightrope. That's the truth. Because somewhere in the circus, there's an elephant walking a tightrope. Mm-hmm. So if somebody comes up to me and say, brother, elephants don't walk tightropes, I could say, not all. And I could say an elephant ropes the tight. Fuck that shit. We are talking about the majority of the population of the planet. We are talking about the majority of the population of the female, mm-hmm. the majority of the population of the male, depending on the subject. Mm-hmm. So as we speak about gossip right now, we know that women love to gossip. Yeah. They need to talk on the phone. Mm-hmm. They need to watch something that is dramatic to talk about it later. You, watch, you don't watch Love and Hip Hop because it's not dramatic. The reason why the woman watches Love and Hip Hop is because she can talk about it later and gossip about it. You see what I'm saying? Right. Now, there's nothing wrong with the expression, which is the feminine aspect. Here's the problem. Both men and women gossip today because the male has been made effeminate oh, and has been emasculated. Yeah. So now he needs to gossip. He needs to talk. But yeah. if any of us are lucky enough to know our grandfathers, if any of us are lucky enough to have a real father in our lives, right. we know that when, when your father came home... He wasn't running to go talk to his wife and tell her about her, his day. Or pick up a book, you know what I mean? He wasn't doing it, don't do that. But the wife wants to go and talk about her day. The man, you ask the man, how was your day? Work is work. Uh, work is work. That's it. Leave me alone. Let me get my bed. Let me watch the game. Because we don't need to express verbally. We express physically. And that's the masculine aspect. Now today we've been made feminine. So now men talk about other men. Now men talk behind the backs of other men. Now men degrade other men behind their backs to try to get women. That's not a masculine thing. The masculine thing is to show yourself to such a light and quality to that woman that you actually make that man a memory. That's the key. 
Instead of saying, you know that nigga broke, right? You know that's not his call, right? You know he lived with his mama, right? Nah, that's bitch nigga shit. You see what I'm saying? So, when we speak about gossip, we're speaking about the need to express. Mm -hmm. We're speaking about the feminine side or the feminine tendency or the so feminine energy. Sometimes people don't got nothing to talk about. They be no, like, they don't. They be like, yo, uh, the weather, uh, how's the weather going to be? Yeah. Uh, you know, just talking BS. You know what yeah. I mean? You talk about a whole bunch of blunder and bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, what's the weather? You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? Just talking about bullshit, bro. But you know see, now, mean? now you get into... The social construct that makes us feel obligated. But, but, but us as people, we need to communicate. But it's like, damn, bro. Like, you don't got... I always heard, like, if you don't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. You feel uh -huh. me? But we just like the blab, blab. Like, just chat, chat, chat. I'm like, damn, bro. Sometimes you got to be quiet. You know what I mean? Hear the birds. Like, right now, we hearing the birds just chirping. Mm -hmm. But people act like birds. You know what I mean? They just chirp, chirp, chirp. Like, you know what I mean? You just got to chill sometimes. You know what I mean? But also, understand there's a difference between communication and God. So communication is an exchange. Mm. See, when I communicate with my woman, when I communicate with my brother, when I communicate with anybody of a certain mind that's in the same frequency, I'm exchanging information, I'm exchanging energy. But see, gossip is a form of release. Gossip is a form of attention. You see what I'm saying? When you talk shit about somebody that you know is going to get a reaction or a response, you're receiving attention upon yourself. Mm -hmm. So... What I'm saying is we have to look at the sources and the functions of the actions and the behaviors that we commit on a daily basis. That's what I'm really saying. And instead of looking at it as why do we do this and why do we do that, we have to look at it as where exactly does it stem from and what exactly is it applied to? Is it applied to the feminine or the masculine? Is it, is it indoctrinated in us or is it naturally in us? These are the things we have to ask ourselves because if we don't deal with the source, then we'll go in circles with the surface. And that's one thing mind ascension don't do. I don't go in circles with the surface. If you a surface motherfucker, you're going to be talking to yourself. Because I don't waste no time going in circles with people who can't get past the surface. Mm -hmm. But uh, throw something so out, what, 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 what we basically got to do is um, we got to uh, basically find stuff to do with our time, man. You know what I mean? A lot of people got a lot of idle time. You know what I mean? And, and haste make waste, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you got to do stuff with your time out here, man. Find a damn job, you know what I mean? Talk to people, you know, constructive stuff, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, bro. Pick up a damn book, you know what I mean? Stay in school. <laughs> now, what are you really talking about right now? Let's break this down. You know, my essential, I like to break it down. Right. Productivity. Productivity. Which is the masculine. Flex. Creativity, mm. which is the feminine. The man today is unproductive. Damn. You see what I'm saying? He baskets so much in his gossip. Yeah. He baskets so much in his entertainment. Trying to flex. He baskets so much in the projection of the things he doesn't have, in the projection of false quality, mm -hmm. that he doesn't even realize he's unproductive within his actions. A man is what he does, mm -hmm. but yet the feminine is what she is and is a being. See, right. she is the idea. She is the creatrice. She is the creativity that spawns new things. Mm. This is why today, y'all women, this is the proof that y'all should know y'all are out y'all feminine because y'all not doing nothing new. Y'all just imitating niggas. You imitate the way niggas talk. You imitate the way niggas think. You imitate how niggas work. You see what I'm saying? And we're imitating our mothers, which is imitating you because we're imitating the strong, independent mother that raised us, talking about how we're not going to take no shit. But at the same time, we want to be treated equal to a woman, which is insanity. You see what I'm saying? So we got the whole thing backwards and 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 done. So hey, getting sir, back. I got, I got, a, I got a, a PSA to you weak dudes out there, man. Okay. With with some type of money, I know y'all like to uh y'all like to put women up over men, right? Because y'all feel like if y'all put a dude up, if y'all put a dude up that got some type of potential. He might, he might overtake you. Mm. That's insecurity right there, man. Oh, absolutely. There's a lot of insecurity today. You know what I mean? We, a lot of insecurity. There's lanes and levels to everything, man. So, you know what I mean? We got to really, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I see, yo, it, it's like, I'm not, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, 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 what they call a pig, uh, um... They call that joint, uh, 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 when, when you, when you, uh, don't want to see women rise, uh... Uh, 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 chauvinistic. chauvinistic. Yeah, right. there you go. Yeah, Feel chauvinistic. Me? Chauvinistic. I'm not chauvinistic. <laughs> Another made up word, by the way. I believe, well, all words I believe are made up. women do, but 
have should have the right to vote, make a lot of money. Uh huh. But you insecure dudes, you know what you do? You rather put a woman up over a man. Mm. You know why? I know why. You know why? Cause you don't want to see dudes rise, man. That's all I well, now you're getting man. now you're getting to something that I talk about a lot. Remember, the feminine is the sustainer. She keeps shit in place. Mm. So I'll put it to you like this. I get to the top. I leave my niggas behind, but I bring my girl with me. But why am I bringing my girl with me? Because she's going to sustain whatever I either create or whatever I implement as I'm out on the top of my so-called game. If you notice, I'll, I'll prove it right now. Social media, useless products, different forms of entertainment. Who is all of this shit supported by the most out of anybody? Who pays and buys the most useless things and watches the most useless things the most that keep these things on TV, that keep social media running, that keep useless products that are unnecessary no, in no, demand? No, 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 let's go further. Who's the top consumer in society? Okay, there you go. That's, 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 that's making it who's, real simple. Who's shopping on the weekend the most? That makes it real simple. Now, as we know, we're talking about the feminine right. because the feminine is the sustainer due to the fact that she not a changer. She takes what already exists and she puts life into it to keep it there and alive. Now, this is not her fault. This is just her nature. The problem is she's been placed in hell. Her current society is hell. So she's sustaining hell. You right. see what I'm saying? The right. products that she is uh, promoting and consuming she's the are dangerous she's to the her. Bait. She's the yes. bait. She's, not only is she, she's, she's the bait, she's the catcher, she, she's every fucking thing. Oh, because guess what? We ain't going nowhere if there ain't no bitches there, right? The fuck am I going to the club for? Why am I as a man going to the club? For women. Why are you as a woman going to the club? The music. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Mm. You see what I'm saying? If we got to understand our natures and we got to understand why things exist and coincide and how they work. And they understand what our woman is because they study and master nature. We refuse to acknowledge nature. We only acknowledge nature when it is a compliment oh, yeah, or yeah. benefit Let's to us. Let's not talk about something else, bro. Go on. Yo, women, yo, start dressing modest, man. I, mm, okay. I'm, seeing, nah, I'm straight, man. Yo, stop showing y'all bodies, man. For okay, real. okay. I, I, I'm tired of the, 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 the showing their bodies. It's, it, it's like, damn. I'm not saying you really got to be fully covered, but damn, bro. Now, um. It's, it's like, even dudes that got girls, like, they, they be walking around with their girls, hmm. and their girls be showing themselves, bro. Now, that shows you the character of that man. Because... Ladies, I'm sure you can understand this. Some of y'all have boyfriends and some of y'all have men. It's a big difference. Boyfriend. There's some there's certain things that you cannot do if you have a man. And then there's things you can do anytime you want if you got a boyfriend. Yeah. And there's a huge fucking difference. This is why I don't give a shit what y'all say. I know when a woman don't got a man. Because she will conduct herself in such a way that I know there is no masculine energy somewhere that has to take pride and have to take claim over her as the symbolism of his woman. Mm -hmm. See, when you walking around with your titties out through a mesh shirt yeah. in a public place, right. when you now see, I, I hear what my brother's saying right here, talking about modesty, because that's very important yeah, and very modest, powerful, especially yeah. for the feminine. Right. But at the same time, I do understand the need for the woman to express herself, yeah, and yeah. I do understand the need for her to be noticed and to express her beauty. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, these days when I'm looking on social media and looking at these so-called models and all these different people, mm -hmm. they're in a damn grocery store with their nipples showing. And then what we don't understand is when you get confronted or when you get a result or reaction that you don't necessarily like after projecting an energy that magnetizes that reaction, now you want to call that man a pervert. Now you want to call that man a rapist. Right. Now you want to call that man a sexual abuser. Mm. Or now you want to call that man a harasser. Now you want to call that man thirsty. But bitch, you in the store with your titties out. Mm. And, I'm a, and I'm a heterosexual man who like titties. So I'm going to stare at you the whole time you're here. Why did you come outside like that? Hey, hey, some of you women be full of yourself too, man. Okay. You be full of yourself. If, if a man look at you for, for five seconds, you sometimes you insecure. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not, well, every, man, not every dude is trying to holler at you, man. That's very true, and I'm some, not going to lie. Some just want to be a friend. Some I'm not going to lie. You know what I mean? There's been times I've been somewhere be in the city, yourself, man. man. I ain't going to lie. It's funny you said it. There's been times somewhere I've been places in the city, mm. and I'll just be looking for directions. And you try to ask a woman for direction, she swear you trying to holler at her. 
And I've never been, a lot of y'all know me. I don't slide in DMs. I don't do none of that shit. Right. So I, I get what you're saying right there. But then also, we also got to take consideration too, because I, like to, I like to look at all angles, y'all. We got to take consideration that the last 10 to 20 years, you know, that's what men been doing. Well, let me not say 10 to 20 years. Pretty much all existence. Mm. Men are pursuers of women. But here's the problem. We are not in a society that's teaching us the complement and the balance between the genders. So therefore, we're pursuing each other without the proper order and without the proper ability to do so. Because mm. there's a way to pursue a woman right. that can get her attention in a respectful, balanced manner. And then there's the animalistic way to run up a bit, run up on a chick that you see with a fat ass. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm I, 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 I'm pleading with them right now, yo. Start dressing modest, man. You know what I mean, like, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Like the Muslim women, yo, I like the way they dress, bro. That's mm. just me personally, though. Okay. Some people might okay. knock it. All right. I like how they dress, bro. Okay. All right. You know what I mean? Some of them might wear sandals on on hot days, but they they yo. They might show their feet on hot days. Right. You know what I mean? But I know not to look because they covered. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think the cover ones. Well, you know what? Married, Let you know? me bring up this since we're right. talking about it. Here's an absolute fact, ladies. Because you know what I hear from a lot of women? Oh, well, we wouldn't dress like this if y'all men didn't want us to. Well, we wouldn't wear the weave if y'all men wouldn't chase women with weaves. Guess what, ladies? Mm -hmm. Men chase any woman who is anything. What do I mean by that? Yeah. If all of y'all wake up tomorrow and start walking around with a full blanket over your ass and all we can see is your face, right. after a while, yeah. we're going to see your ankle and be like, damn, look at her ankle. Damn, that's a there's, fine ankle. There's somebody out there for you. That's what I'm like saying that. is, what I'm saying is, you condition the man. The man does not condition you. So if you've been walking around in a short ass skirt with your ass hanging out the last 10 years, then you goddamn right. That's what I'm expecting because every woman does that. So when you're the only woman in a crowd of women with their ass hanging out that's dressed modestly, you damn right I don't notice you. Because I've been conditioned in a society where you are taught to be free with your body and now all I'm looking for is ass. But if I was living in a society that was trained and conditioned to be modest, right. the woman that's showing her wrist or her ankle yeah. would be like a slut to me. You said you were a queen, right? You said you were a queen, but you dressed like a thot. So I, it's, I see contradictions, man. You feel me? There's contradictions in everything. You know what I mean? How you a queen but you dress like a whore? You want to be dressed? I don't get it, man. But let's 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 touch, let's touch on something because I don't even want to because I, I don't want to feel like you know we want to get. I'm getting on men and women because right, 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 right. at the end of the day, us as men, we're very childish now. We're very childish and we've been reversed and we don't take account. One of the one of the key things, ladies, is for you to know that you're dealing with a real man or not is when he takes accountability for himself. You should never, ever, ever have to remind a man to take accountability for himself. Even if you remind him and he does it when you remind him, that's still a flag. Because if, cause if you didn't remind him, he wouldn't do it. But if you have to remind a man to hold himself accountable, if you have to remind a man that he is a man, that's a huge flag. You're dealing with a male or you're dealing with a boy. And we need to know the differences. A man will immediately know when he's done something wrong. He'll say, oh, damn, I ain't going to lie. I forgot about baby, please. All right, you know what? I'm going to run out and get it right now. You won't have to tell him that. But a lot of these men today, you have to remind them that they're men. And that's some sad shit. And we know that these things are only results to the society reversing us in our roles. So, absolutely. Men, hold yourself accountable immediately. Men, be able to go without shit. Stop feeling you need just as much as she does. Stop feeling you need more. Stop feeling you need to be first because you don't. You see what I'm saying? And women at the end of the day, recognize your nature, embrace your nature, and stop denying what it is. Because every time you deny it, you suppress what you are and you become more damaged from the inside out. And that's a fact. That's why a lot of y'all got all different type of ailments, all different type of aches and pains all over your body you can't explain. That's why a lot of y'all have so many different problems inside your body and outside your body because you are suppressing your very nature as the feminine. If you would just be what you are, like your grandmas used. What did your fetch, grandmas used fetch, to say fetch. when when somebody was cursing around your grandmother when she was when she was our age? What would she say? Excuse me, there's a lady present. Mm. That's being a woman because what you're doing is you're taking your privilege as the feminine and reminding the world that there is something in your presence that's at such a high quality, you need to push yourself up to a higher quality to be in my presence or leave my presence. So when you were around a woman, immediately you changed the way you talked. 
But guess what? Who's cursing like a sailor now? Fuck you, bitch, nigga. Suck my dick, nigga. I hear, I hear little girls in the street right. cursing worse than the hardest gangsters in jail. Mm. And it's disgusting. But I remember not too long ago, a woman would go, excuse me, I'm a lady. Excuse me, you're in the presence of a woman. You see what I'm saying? Right. But y'all can't do that no more because you don't conduct yourself as such. And not only do you not conduct yourself as such, when you need to be that energy, somebody has trained you to think that that's something weak. And somebody has also trained you that you don't have to embody that nature, yeah, just but too, still can get the fucking you just, you privileges just, of it. You're just too gassed up, man. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta pipe down a little bit, man. Just, just chill out a little bit, for real. We all have a direct and specific function as man and woman. Yeah. We all have As a direct a woman, and specific she's a nature. Star of the show, but uh, you feel me? Like you just, it's like you just boom, like man, mm. like. Now I like that. As a woman, she's the star of the show because that's right, true. Because right. that's true. Right. The worst thing you could do is completely ignore a woman. Right. And I don't care what any of y'all say. If the world ignored y'all tomorrow, y'all will fucking die. <laughs> I don't give a damn what any of y'all say. Okay, you need to be noticed. You need to be appreciated. You need some type of attention. I'm not saying you got to be, you know what I mean, gag gag goo goo like a baby, but I'm saying you need attention. A man, you could ignore a man and he won't even notice till you bring it up. The only time he'll notice is when he needs something from you and he go, babe, where's so-and-so? And you're not talking. What, what, you're not talking to me? Oh, nigga, I haven't talked to you for two days. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't need to be seen. We don't need attention. You see what I'm saying? But we do need our women, you know? And that's why you'll never hear a straight heterosexual man Swear off women for the rest of his life. Right, I'm completely done with women, man. I'm finished with all women. Don't get me wrong. You might have the bitch weak nigga talking about he's done with black women. You'll have that. You'll have the weak nigga talking about he going to date out his race. You'll have that. But you'll never have a straight masculine man talk about he's completely done with women. But you hear women say that shit all the goddamn time. And this is the differences between our nature because what gives me purpose is a woman. Because... My purpose is to be utilized. My purpose is my actions and my capabilities as a man. And only a woman can give me that purpose. Another man is already a man. He don't need another man. He's already a man. And as a matter of fact, if he does need me, he needs me to remind him he's a fucking man. Man up, nigga. That's what we said. That's what we used to say. That's what we used to say. Now we got mothers running around talking about it's okay to cry. Walk away from a fight. That's okay. It's okay to be scared. It's okay. No, 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 no. Because you're breeding a weak man of tomorrow that will never protect a black woman of today. The big difference. We need to understand that. Anything else you want to add, brother? I'm going I'm to wrap this up. Anything you want to add? Well, man. It was a pleasure. Because we, 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 we about to touch on 30 minutes. Right. But what we started, we started with the MK Ultra. We started with the mind control. The fact that every symbolism you see is a form of sigil. Don't ever get it twisted. These brand names, these, these different... Uh, corporations with these uh, commercials and all these symbolism trust and believe they do rituals over those symbols best believe that they do rituals they do incantations they do everything your ass supposed to be doing today that you call voodoo and devil this and devil that they put magic into their symbols that they want to indoctrinate your subconscious don't get it twisted they name their products after Greek gods so you don't even know that you worship in Greek Cause you don't study, so you put on Nike, you put on all these, you know, champion hoodie, you put on all these different things, and you don't even know the etymology of the word that you're wearing on your body, which is a spell upon your vessel. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So wow. we went into that. You know, we went into the feminine and masculine. What's up, brother? You people, man, I'm gonna stress it again. Pick up a book, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Pick up a book, man. Knowledge is power, man. Pick Let me say this since he said it. Remember, never forget. There's Not just a, any book, man. Just okay. <laughs> never forget. There is a feminine and masculine to everything. There is a polarity to everything. And I want to mention this because my brother's talking about books. Books are great. Don't ever get it twisted. But ladies, you are here to listen more than read. Mm -hmm. Because understand, when you overread, mm -hmm. you overwork the vitamin A in your eye as a female. Mm -hmm. Overstand that the... The female child learns differently than the male child. This is why the female in the, in the younger, the first two cycles of seven, she develops faster than the male. Because the male is a two-dimensional creature. The female is a three-dimensional creature. Meaning that when the female learns, she needs to touch everything. She needs to smell it. She needs to taste it. She needs to find out how it actually works. But see, um, 
<coughs> a male, he can learn from a two-dimensional perspective. He could just see it, read it, and then absorb it analytically. He could accumulate the, the information cr uh, chronologically. You see what I'm saying? Because he's more mechanical. The woman is not mechanical. She is an actual being. The doer is an action which is like a machine, which is the man. But the being is something that is in existence that exudes all nature and all energy around her. So you can't make her mechanical even though today they're, tr they're trying to. And this is why she's losing her intuition. This is why she's losing her creativity. This is why she's losing her psychic ability. This is why she's losing her beauty. This is why she's losing her grace. Because you're trying so hard to be mechanical, working a nine to five, trying to be a career woman, which by the way, the etymology of career means combat, which is why your ass is always in competition with another bitch at the job. Because y'all are on the combat field when you're in a career. Understand that. Your grandmothers, y'all grandmothers used to sell five dollar plates out the house. Your grandmothers used to take care of all the kids in the neighborhood for a price. Your grandmothers used to knit clothes. Your grandmothers did things out of their creative nature to make money. Yeah. They didn't punch a clock. Your father punched a clock because he's mechanical. Mm. So I say that to say in closing, everything has a polarity, everything has a feminine, everything has a masculine. So what I mean by that, men, pick up those fucking books, read the shit out of those fucking books, read a, have a different book all the fucking time. Women... Read your books, but I want you to listen more than you read. Listen to lectures. Record your own lectures. If you write notes, record the notes into your phone and listen to them throughout the day. That is the best way for the woman to learn because she's an absorber. She's water. She absorbs her contaminants or she absorbs her nutrients. And the difference today is we are in a society filled of contaminants. So our women is being infected as the water being poured into a trash another can. Thing, another thing I want to say, man, before we close is... Ask questions, man. People are scared nowadays. They, That's they, a good they, one. That's they a good act one. like they know it all. Ah, ego. They make speculations. Ego. On things. Yes. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I, I always heard a wise person ask questions. Yes, man. yes, yes, you yes, don't yes. Just yes. make speculations on things. You ask questions and stop fronting like you know everything. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Even the wisest people that walk earth, they know everything. Well, now you now you're talking about ego and intelligence because. The ego refuses the question. The intelligence embraces the question. And this is how you can tell that a child is the closest thing to God. Because if you notice, a child will be born. And the second that a child can speak, all it's doing is asking questions. Wow. And even before a child speaks, all it's doing is experiencing. What do I mean by that? A child will pick up the random thing off the floor and try to put it in his mouth. Why? Because a child wants to feel it. A child wants to smell it. A child wants to taste it to know what it is. Just keeping it 100. A, a child had, don't have the ego yet to go, ill. that's nasty. A child don't have the ego yet to go, oh, that's bad. There's no ego in the child yet. So the child sees an object. It gets curious of the object. Now it wants to touch it. Okay, it touched it. Now it wants to smell it. Okay, it smelled it. Now it wants to taste it. You see what I'm saying? These are the levels that come with no ego. Then once the child reaches a stage where it can speak to you, all it's doing is asking questions. But notice the child doesn't ask questions with ego. Because the child does not care whether you think the question is stupid or not. Because the child is only the 